Dear children, let me introduce you. First of all, who I am? I am Siddharth Shukta from Evlip Education. Today I am here in front of you to discuss, to talk and to enjoy Veda body. Now, we are all in our rich year for mood to learn, to know something about our body. You are listening me. You are sitting on a chair. You are holding a pen. Well, all these are the body parts and body functions. But do we really know in how many parts our body is divided into and what are their functions? Do we have only hands, legs and head? Do we, do we have anything inside our body also? Come on, let's check. So, we are going to begin with our body. As you know, our body is really very unique. It's special. And our body is divided into many parts. Come on, let's check. What are the parts? You see, this is our head. The head portion contains this is the head. Now, we can see that we have eyes, we have got nose, we have got mouth, we have got ear. These all are in our head and these have different functions. We have got hand and if we see in our hands, we have got the fingers, we have got one elbow. Now, let us see what our head has. Our head has face and face has eyes, nose, mouth. Okay, now when we come to our hands, we find that we have got fingers and elbow. Well, this shows that our body is actually divided into three parts. The first part is the head part, the second part is the abdomen part and the third part is the limb part. Okay, now let us see how many parts really our body has. We have got a top top here. This hair is on the top of our head. This hair protects us from heat, from cold, from dust. Now, if we see, there are some other parts in our face. The face which has eyes, it also has eyebrows. Eyebrow, the two eyebrows, they are also the part of our face. We have got on the top of our eyes, forehead. Now, we can see the nose, the ear, the lips, the teeth, the chin. These all make a face. In the trunk portion, we get the chest, the arms, the hands. Now, if we see our hands, our hand is divided into two parts. The one is called elbow, the arm and the fingers. Now, just above our waist, we have got a part of our trunk, it is called stomach. Now, when we come to the lower part of our trunk, we see a leg. A leg has a foot, a toe and a knee. Now, knee is a joint from where our leg bends. Well, these were some external organs which we can see from outside. But what about the internal organs which we have inside our body? Now, let us see and discuss 
about our internal organs. Now, in our body, we have got some internal organs. These internal organs are very important. They are soft. Okay? They can be damaged easily. Now, the kidney, the lungs, the heart, brain, liver, stomach, these are the parts of our internal organs. Now, let us see what does this kidney do. Now, the kidney. These kidneys, they help in to purify. This help to pure our blood. It also purifies or filters our water which we have inside our body. Now the lungs. The lungs. The lungs are filled with the air which we breathe. The air, it collects in our lungs, it mixes with the oxygen and it goes to the different part of our body. Then what happens about the air which we put off? The air which we give up through our nose contains carbon dioxide. It means the lungs, they store the air the air is mixed with oxygen and is distributed to the different parts. Come to the heart. The heart, heart actually it circulates. It transports the blood. Now, if we get a prick in our finger, we will get blood. If we get a prick on our toe, we are going to get blood. Okay, whenever we get hurt, we get blood. It means blood is found all over our body. Okay, who pumps this blood? Who transports this blood? It is the function of this heart. Well, now you must be thinking, sir is telling about the internal parts. Okay? Now from where you are thinking? When you see something, you think about it. From where? This is the function of the brain. The brain, it helps us to think. The brain tells our body parts what to do and what not to do. Now, dear, there is a hot iron cap and are you going to touch it no because you know it is hot who is commanding your hand not to touch it it is your brain so the function of the brain is to think the brain thinks it gives orders, commands to different body parts. It is the brain which helps us to perceive different senses. Now the liver. The liver, it may look a small triangle in shape, but it actually produces liver juice. The liver juice produced in the liver, it goes to stomach. And the function of the stomach is to store food. It helps to digest food. Juices are mixed in food. So, we have seen that there are main six internal organs in our body. The first one is kidney, second is lung, heart, brain, 
liver and stomach. Before moving ahead, let us see that the internal and external organs, what actually they do for our body. Now, when we move from one place to another, we use our legs, we use our toe, fingers. Without our toe, fingers and legs, we can't even stand up. We can't walk, we can't run. It means that the leg helps us to dance, to walk, to kick, to jump. Apart from moving and running. Now let us see the functions of our hands, fingers and thumb. The style which I am holding, I am holding with the help of my thumb and my finger. And with the help of my fingers and thumbs, I am able to write. Now, can I only write with my hand? No, we can hold, throw, carry, eat, write. We can do many work with our hands. And one thing which we find on our fingers is nails. The nails are actually the hard dead cells, they are the hard structures and they protect the tip of our thumbs, toe and fingers. Our hands, legs, they move and bend. How? This is because of the joints. There are some places in our hands, in our legs where the arms or the legs bend. These are called elbow and knee joints. There are some other special parts in our body which help us to perform the work. And without these special organs, we cannot do anything. Even our hands and legs, they are helpless. So what are those five organs? The most important organs. Let us see. Now, in our body, we have got the five senses. Skin, eye, nose, tongue and ear. Now, we can see. Skin is the largest part of the body. Why? Because skin covers right from the head to the toe of our body. Our body. Our body has got a thin outer layer which covers all the organs. This thin layer which covers our body is called skin and the function of the skin it's very important. If I prick you with a pin or if a bee stings you or if you catch hold an ice box, how will you feel? You will feel the prick, you will feel the pain, you will feel the cold. It means the skin helps us to recognize a thing with the help of touch. If somebody touches, we just come to know. The same thing is with eyes. We see with eyes. You are looking at this with your eyes. And the most important thing that if there is no light, we are not able to see with our eyes. We need light to see with our eyes. Ha! Huh? Only animals are the living creatures we can see in dark, but not we. Here, what I am saying you are listening. And what you want to say, I will be listening afterwards. So, ears help us to listen, to hear. Our ears can differentiate between a good sweet sound and a harsh sound. When you listen to some music, you feel very happy, you feel very pleasant. When you hear the sound of the horns, the engines, the machines, you simply become disturbed. Why? Because it is your ears which tell you. Now, come to the tongue. Whenever we feel hungry, we just have snacks or any meal. It is our tongue which tells us about the taste. Well, tongue only not tells about the taste. 
It also helps us to speak. Without tongue, we cannot speak. Without tongue, we cannot eat. Okay? And now you see, when we see our tongue, in our tongues, we find some small projections like structures. These are called taste buds. If you put something on the tip of your tongue, you will feel sweet. If you put something on your tongue, you will feel bitter. You will feel so. Now these small taste buds actually tell the taste. Okay? So, nose, it is the master. You have got a chocolate in your room. You can smell it. Your mother has prepared a good pizza. Coming from the school, you will just come to know how you have got a smell. Your sister is having some rose flowers. You smell. But somewhere there is a smoke. Plastic is burning. There is a foul smell also. And what you do? You simply close your doors. Why? The bad smell is coming. So, what tells us about the smell? It is the nose. Let us see. What our eyes does? It watch you. Ear listens, nose smells. And nose also helps us in breathing. If you do not have a nose, simply close your nose and try to take the air in. Are you able to? No, you will not be able to. So, the nose also helps us in breathing. Tongue, it helps us to taste the things as well as in speaking. Skin, you can feel any sort of touch, whether it is hot, cold, pain, pleasant, unpleasant touch. If somebody pushes you, it is unpleasant touch. When somebody blesses you on your head, it is a pleasant touch. The skin, as I told you earlier, is the largest sensory organ. It covers all our body part. You must have seen when you get hurt, the skin gets removed from that place. You see the muscle. So what does the skin do? Skin protects our body also. A skin is the largest sense organ. A skin covers our body. It helps to feel, touch, the air, the heart, the cold, the pain, the pressure, the pain. Okay. When the air moves, we feel, yes, air is moving. How? Because it touches our skin. The tongue, the tongue does not have any bony structure. It is a muscular structure. You can fold your tongue, you can roll your tongue, you can twist your tongue. You can do this in your free time. And then, what you will find? That this tongue is not outside somewhere. Like our hands or fingers, it is inside our mouth. You can say that tongue and teeth are the members of a mouth. Or a mouth is a home of a tongue or teeth. The taste bud of our tongue, they tell us about the different tastes. You eat a chili, you eat a mango, and you eat a lemon. You will differentiate between the sour, bitter, and sour taste. Who is going to tell you about this? It is your taste buds. Now, the ear. What I am saying, you are listening because of your ears. Simply close your ears. Are you able to listen to me? I hope so. No. So, ear help us to hear and recognize different sound. If somebody is playing guitar, you will recognize it. Say, somebody is playing guitar, but somebody is blowing a horn, you will simply say, someone is blowing a horn. How you come to know? It is your ears which tell you about the different sounds. Eyes. No doubt, our eyes are fixed in one place, but they can see all around the world. We see the beautiful things, we see the bad things with our eyes. And our eyes tell us 
what to see and what not to see. Our eyes always tell us to see good things. Our eyes tell us not to see bad things. And all these things are commanded by our brain that I told you earlier. Now nose. We always say don't poke your nose. Okay? Now, dear, our nose helps us to smell. And not only to smell, it can differentiate between the different smells. Okay? Now the smell of mango is different from the smell of melon. If you close your eyes and your sister gives you a rose and your father gives you a chocolate, very easily you will tell, yes, here is the chocolate cat and here is a rose. This is the function of a smell. Now, dear children, we have seen the five senses. We have seen the functions of our hands, legs. We have seen the functions of our internal organs. We have seen the different parts of our body and the main part of our body. Okay? Now, before we move on, we should practice some questions. Let us see whether we have learned something, whether something has entered into our heads or not. Okay, the first question is here. The taste of different food is recognized by our. A very simple question. You are having a mango, an apple, a banana and some grapes. You eat all the fruits. And the taste you are going to get from where? Your ears, your eyes. Or from your nose. The correct answer is tongue. Tongue is the correct answer. Now, the question 3. The next question. Taste buds are found in a... Well, somebody may say plants. Buds are found on plants. Some may say on our hands. The others, the ears. But you know the correct answer. You know that taste buds are found on tongue. So, dear, these are some practice questions. When you are free, when you are free with your parents, sit them and just discuss what you have learned. And check whether you know all the answers. Whether you are aware of your body parts. If you have liked this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.